Welcome back Troglodytes to the Troglies Guitar Show. We're doing another case review today. This is the 2014 Gibson Les Paul Peace case. This case was only given to the Les Paul Peace models and they're very unique cases. As you can see, they have a Peace logo on the outside and a Gibson USA logo on the front as well. What makes these cases unique compared to like the black Tolex Gibson USA case is that it's covered in a hemp material, which kind of feels like a burlap sack in a way. So it's like you got a big fuzzy sock over your whole case, which is a really cool vibe. It's kind of a, uh, a light tan color. And besides that, it's pretty much just a standard Gibson USA case. In this review, we will be going over the six different aspects that I define a case by. That's how good the handle is, the overall aesthetics of the case, how it looks, the fit of the guitar inside the case, which also includes how much neck support it has, things like that, the overall durability of the case, as far as will it withstand pressure, and how well the appearance holds up, and finally, the value of the case. Is it worth how much they sell for? So without any further ado, let's take a look at the 2014 Gibson Les Paul Peace case. First on our list is the handle itself. The handle is kind of covered in a dark brown exterior. It's got a, a little bit of padding to it. You can see where it was sewn on right here. So it's got like a second layer to the padding. A lot of these handles kind of have a plastic feel, but this one isn't. It's slightly leather-like. You've got some beautiful stitching on it. And it's just attached to the case in the regular way. I will say you can already see some wear starting to form where it has attached. But as far as, you know, using this handle, I'm not scared it's ever really going to break off. But eventually, I'm sure that they will with enough wear and tear. So overall, with cases that have this style of a handle, I always give them an 8 out of 10. Next is the aesthetics of the case. Once again, a nice, beautiful, light brown hemp exterior definitely makes this case look very special and makes it a limited edition. But let's go ahead and take a look at the interior of the case. The interior of the case is a pink interior and the top has a tie dyed pattern to it. Now, not every one of these looks exactly the same. The top pattern usually varies a little bit example by example but they have the same general look and feel. Overall, I would give the aesthetics of this case a 9 out of 10. It's a very cool limited edition guitar case, but I wish they would have done a different color on the interior. The pink's already been done so much on the brown cases. I think like a tie-dyed blue would have looked cool, or just something different than the standard pink. And I wish that the tie-dye job was on the lid and the bottom. We will now test the fit of the case. As you can see, it has two neck supports, which is always great. And it also has an additional block down there for heel support. So that is also a great feature. The sides are very plush, a very nice plush material, and you've got at least an inch of thickness all around, so that's very good. Side to side motion, your guitar is pretty well stuck. It will move a little bit if you want it to, but that's, you know, nitpicky. In normal usage, it wouldn't move at all. The up and down test, it is completely secure, and this is with a 1980s Les Paul Custom. Here we'll test the fit with a piece guitar. Side to side, again you have a little bit of motion but not a lot. Up and down you're pretty well secured. The headstock is far off from the bottom of the case, so overall, as far as fit goes, this case gets a perfect 10 out of 10 score. Our next topic is the latches. You have four on the front of the case, and you have a single latch on the back. These are your standard latches. They're very nice, very secure, and you have five of them. So not much more I can say about those. Perfect 10 out of 10 score on this case because I have no worries of this guitar case ever coming undone accidentally. Our next test is durability. You can see when I press on it, it really doesn't flex too much, so I think this would definitely survive a good fall. On the inside of the case, you do have nice padding, so I think it would also protect it. So overall, I think this is a very protective case. However, the exterior does start to show some heavy usage marks if you do gig this case. 
Here I'll show you an example. You can see where a normal scuff mark would happen on a case. It actually kind of like rips through the hemp exterior. Something else is you get a lot of stray yarns coming from this part here. I just recently went and snipped off a bunch of those. So there's a little bit of maintenance to this case if you actually gig with them. I don't think they necessarily hold up the best. You can see here a dark spot, and that's what I was talking about earlier, all these little frays that if you pull on them, it just goes along the whole case and it starts unraveling. So it definitely shows its wear a lot more so than the black Gibson USA cases. And for that reason, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 as far as durability. It does show its age rather quickly. The final test is the value of this case. Since this guitar case was never sold separately and you can only find them with the piece model guitars, they can be a little bit pricey to find. I generally find that these at least get a $50 to $100 premium over the standard Gibson USA case. You can generally pick these up under $350 used, uh, but the cheapest I've ever seen one is probably around $200, $250. So yes, they're a little bit more pricey than other used Gibson USA cases. However, I feel they're worth it. They have a very nice exterior to them. It's kind of cloth-like as I've mentioned before, and they're very unique, and these are definitely collector's items. So as far as the value and cost goes, I'll go ahead and give this one an eight because they're pretty much the exact same case as the other Gibson USA ones, but they are a little bit fancier. All right, so my review of the Gibson Les Paul piece case is finished. Once again, this was a limited edition case. You couldn't buy it separately, but sometimes you can find them used separately, but they always go for a pretty big bunny. This case did pretty well on my scale. It got a 53 out of 60, which is about an 88%, which is a B plus. The only thing that keeps this guitar case from being perfect is having like a nice built-in deluxe handle. And if they weren't so expensive. So yes, I would definitely suggest one of these cases if you kind of want a unique, interesting case. They're definitely kind of a collector's case. The hemp exterior feels really cool. I do like that. But this case doesn't necessarily go with every guitar. So as far as a protective case that you can take gig to gig, yes, I do recommend it, but it will start showing its age if you're not careful with it. So I hope you troglodytes enjoyed this case review of a rare limited edition case. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video as I do case reviews as well as guitar reviews and a Would You Rock or Not series. You can also check out my Instagram, Facebook page, all that other good stuff. And we will catch you next time, troglodytes. Take care.